I am Sara Serdas, a medical doctor and a member of the European Parliament. Today, I would like to walk you through the difficulties encountered by people living with Alzheimer's disease. Forgetting recent conversations or important events too often. Feeling confused about time and place. Personality changes such as being more impulsive. Frequent trouble in finding the right words. Regularly losing train of thought. Having difficulty making decisions or understanding instructions. This isn't normal aging. Instead, it may be symptomatic of Alzheimer's disease. This happens when protein plaques and tangles build up in the brain, injuring nerve cells and leading to progressive cognitive decline. The disease begins to develop up to 20 years before first symptoms appear and can occur between the ages of 50 and 80. I'm Thomas of Soko, a member of the European Parliament and here's why the fight against Alzheimer's disease should be a priority for the EU. In Europe, 9.7 million people live with Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. By 2030, that number is projected to rise to 14 million, with societal costs growing significantly to 250 billion euros. That's equivalent to Finland's GDP. In the absence of a cure, there is care. The strain of Alzheimer's disease cascades to families and across societies. And by 2050, the number of Europeans aged 65 and over, the prime age for advanced Alzheimer's disease, will nearly double. I am Claudia Gamon, a member of the European Parliament. The time is now to look ahead and strategically plan for tomorrow's challenges such as Alzheimer's disease. While there is no cure today, clinical development is underway. But health systems need to prepare for potential new therapies that might help target earlier stages of Alzheimer's disease and preserve people's independence longer. For that, the European Union and national governments need to make Alzheimer's disease a policy priority. Health professionals need improved training to identify symptoms at the first stages. Individuals, families and caregivers need to learn more about risk reduction and early warning signs. Finally, we need to increase public awareness to stop the stigma. Catching and treating Alzheimer's early is the first step in changing the course of the disease, and with it, the lives of patients and carers, protecting our society, health and social systems. Together, we have to turn this disease into a distant memory.